All right, time for the KSL In-Depth. Walk around parts of Salt Lake City and you'll probably come across something that is a bit concerning. Syringes. They're a byproduct of the explosion in opioid drug use. This homeless man has spent four years on the streets and he says it's getting a lot worse. There are needles all over the place. You look in the garbage cans, there's needles. You look in any place, there's needles. I don't use them, I don't do them, but there's needles. It has gotten worse. It has gotten way worse. Because I see people shooting up all the time and I'm like, and I avoid it. I have to go someplace else. Salt Lake County Health Department Executive Director Gary Edwards says used needles carry a real risk for hepatitis, HIV, or other diseases. It happens not just in these situations, it happens in health care. We want testing to occur immediately so that we can learn as quickly as possible if there uh, was exposure to any of those communicable diseases. So then the question is, what do you do if you or your kids happen to find one? Salt Lake County residents should be cautious when coming across a needle. If it is in an area where there could be potential exposure, either call somebody to remove it, or if they have equipment, pliers with them, very thick gloves to where they could, then that's what we would want them to do. We would want them to dispose of it. They're probably not going to have a disposal container, but even a, a 20 ounce soda bottle that it could be dropped into. That would be okay. We would prefer they take it to a health department location where we can properly dispose of it, incinerate them. Ultimately, a solution has to come in the form of reducing drug abuse, right? But Utah Department of Health Syringe Exchange Coordinator Heather Bush says they're also working on providing easier ways for the addicts themselves to safely drop the needles. Now, most people who inject drugs don't want to leave their syringes around. They, they care about um, themselves, their friends, their community, just like anybody else. But often they may have fear of law enforcement they may not be able to dispose of them. They may have them confiscated. They may have them stolen. We're trying to do our best to make it easier for them to be able to dispose of them properly and um, work with us to help keep the community safe. Such a complex problem and uh, more questions than answers, I'm afraid, but something we're going to have to tackle at various levels, and this is one of them. You've been listening to the KSL In-Depth at 15 and 45.